Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. Yesterday, I uploaded a video talking about how you can get your stats for Battle Royale from lockdown, right guys? Well, today, I've got a video of me going into lockdown solo, getting a win, and then accounting as a Battle Royale, guys. So yes, you can get real easy Battle Royale wins just by playing lockdown and I've got some gameplay here of that me getting a win solo so you guys can see exactly how easy this really is guys with that said get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and let's get into the video guys now the whole point of this is for people that want to get wins now the point of that is also because it counts for their challenges right so what this is doing is you're going to be coming across to your games Warzone, all of these Warzone BR mastery challenges and things like that count from lockdown. So you can complete your kill masteries in lockdown and you can complete your battle royale wins in lockdown, guys. So as you'll see, not only that though, also it shares stats. So now making this video afterwards, as you'll see right here, I have total wins of three because I've just played a, a, a lockdown match of lockdown i come first and it counted as a quads win if you guys see my video from yesterday i only had one quads win and now i've got two so it's simple as that you're getting battle royale wins on your stats total wins for quads just from playing lockdown guys and it's complete battle royale wins and everything guys now I don't play Resurgence or any Battle Royales, but my wins are just from playing Lockdown. The mode is right here, and let's get in, and we'll show you the gameplay of that. So if you see my stats before then, here's my stats from right before that game here. As you'll see, I only had one game of quads where I only had one win in quads. And then we went through, and i done a solo of Lockdown. Now, guys, that's simple as that, so... That's that, guys, and well, now I'll just let this game play out for those that want to see how I went about winning this solo. It's really easy, and I also include the class at the end that I do not want you guys to actually use because then you'll make it harder for me to get my wins. With that said, guys, get down there, smash that like button, and with this lockdown, guys, to win this, all you need to do is camp, is camp in these zones, right? There's lots of zones, and I don't recommend going to the high-value zones because that's where you're going to have to fight a lot and you're going to have a lot of time. If you're not the best player, you're going to be a dead a lot, which when you're dead is time where you're not getting score, so you're not going to be getting ahead. So you can go to the outskirts and find a, the less less hot zones and camp in those zones and as long as you camp in those zones for a lot of time you can still win the game without being in the high value zones guys so for the people that aren't the best don't want to have to take on all the players in the high value zones and think oh you won't be able to win this yes you still will as you see from this gameplay here i'm solo i do not have a full squad i'm going up against quads and i'm not taking on the high value zones and i still win this by a long shot guys so this is 100 percent easy way easier than trying to win a battle royale of quads and you're getting the same stats for winning as if you did win a battle royale quads guys so this is absolutely broken guys and with that said guys get down there if you haven't already smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and comment cod is broken <laughs> this is a stat glitch that really needs to be fixed because any of the actual legit players for quads well this is just destroying all of your guys glory for your wins because people can just go along and get 30 wins in quads just like this playing this mode and then your 30 wins in the real quads doesn't really mean much so in that aspect let's hope that they fix this but as you guys see just you just want to focus on holding off the zones and you don't have to worry about holding off the high value zones because as long as you're not dead the high value zones yes they pay more points per second staying in them but when you die and you die more often there unless you're highly skilled player 
then you're going to be better off just sitting in these lower valued zones guys as you see here the consistency of having points coming in throughout the time is better than getting big chunks of points coming in in bursts and also once your zone thing if you're having a way to kill yourself that can be faster than running to the zones just 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 redeploy in the air onto the zone and you'll get there faster that's another tip for this but how are you guys liking this haunting event get down that comment section and let me know are you guys liking this i'm really loving this haunting event it's got me playing consistently i've got all the bosses in dmz done a whole few of the easter eggs or well, the ones that i want the items from and all sorts guys i'm loving the dark mode i love the way that your guns glow and all the glowing things are coming out I do, i'm really lost as to um where they're going to leave this after this haunting event let me know on you guys ideas on where they can really go with this war zone after the haunting event because dmz is going to feel so empty without all the bosses and all sorts of stuff like that to kill and so will the rest of the modes they'll just feel so empty in my opinion now because we've got so much stuff to do so much new things to look at and everything and then we're just going to go back to the old stuff but as you guys see here to win this you don't have to be highly skilled it's all about these zones so it's a completely different game to battle royale but you win this and you get a free battle royale win and you can unlock your calling cards and stuff for battle royale mode and everything guys check out this bug that happens right here let me know if this ever happens to you guys bang the gun the game lags out and your loadout menu pops up on the screen it's weird as and how's that guy's range on his merely just there he was like three meters away and he destroys me i need to try out that melee weapon that's the baton the police baton type one i think it was but as you guys see i'm already far in the lead it's not hard it's easy especially if you're running this broken class here so please do not run this class i'll include this class and tune at the end of the video so that you guys know exactly what to avoid when you're in the gunsmith so that you don't become overpowered throwing knives are so much good especially in this mode when you've got scavenger perk because you just almost have unlimited throwing knives you can just keep throwing them and throwing them throwing them because all the dead bodies everywhere just give you more throwing knives so even if you use your throwing knives you've got more and you can keep picking up your you throw and throwing knives so you've just got throwing knives galore with throwing knives and scavenger perk it's really good it's another good tip for this yeah and stuns for taking over zones you stun one shot shot guns nice. yeah not much people can really do and in this you are kind of playing slimy because this mode is about camping so hey all you campers out there this is for you you can finally just camp to glory to the camp to the glory <laughs> you don't have to worry about zones pushing you or gas pushing you or anything like that you can set up camp and if someone kills you just go back down and set up camp again <laughs> this is campers paradise right here and you can get all the battle royale wins your heart desires simple as easy as as you see here this isn't hard at all <laughs> And as you see we're not focusing on the high value zones because those zones have lots more competition so you have a higher chance of getting pushed by the sweatier squads that work really hard together in which case when you're solo that can end up you can end up dead you might get two of them then the third one kills you and then that's a whole lot of downtime of not getting your points right so i find it better to just go off to an out of the way zone and just sit in that zone because you're not getting pushed so heavily and there's not as much downtime to collecting points and even better if you have a full squad i'm just doing it solo because i like to play solo but if you've got a full squad and you're doing this again it's going to be even easier so you guys can see how easy this is 
the most easiest quad battle royale win ever <laughs> and it's not like a battle royale where it's stupid low kills everyone's camping out this is lockdown where everyone's having fun and it's even easier to get wins right now because half of the lobby is not even playing the game to win it majority of the lobby right now are only playing lockdown to get their first amount of kills to get their souls and then they're quitting out of the game which means there's not even much competition to even win the game in this beginning so this right here is why this is super super easy battle royale wins right now now until they change the fix this not counting as battle royale there's no reason if you care for battle royale wins there's no reason to play battle royale you might as well just play this you get free wins and everything guys it's absolutely broken now i don't only thing you won't be able to get from this is the nuke because well there's no nuke on this but as you see here this is the go super easy come to a as you said die and just fly straight into the zones and this is how you win this is how you get a battle royale win right now during the haunting event is camp these zones that are the non main ones because the main ones obviously you're going to have a lot more heat and then you're just going to die and you're going to have a lot more downtime especially if you're solo this is the tactic for when you're solo i mean if you've got a full squad go for glory go to the main zones and hold them off and fight the whole game hard but if you're solo then this is the way you can do it and you can still win it you can beat squads and everything solo just sitting in the zone <laughs> and get it easy as squads win guys <laughs> Don't hit your shots. You end up dead sometimes, eh? That was me being a bot just there. See, but that's what happens when camp too much. You camp too much and you just your skill level just drops while you're camping. The longer you camp, your skill level drops down. That's how you become good. As you never camp and you keep your skill level up here. And then you stop and you camp for a little bit, your skill level will drop. <laughs> so the people that camp all the time, your skill level is going to be down here all the time. Until you stop camping, bring it up a bit more. <laughs> I camped a bit much there. My school level went... <laughs> Same here. I'm camping. <laughs> My school level was up here. Now it's... In... <laughs> but hey, we're still winning. The go That's the glory of this mode. You don't have to be a high-skilled player for this mode. This mode is for mode for the campers. You have to be the best camper. Get that ride shield on your back. <laughs> Set up your trophy system. <laughs> Get your tent out. <laughs> Get your marshmallows and your <laughs> campfire. Camp it out and go for good. <laughs> Even when you're down, you continue to hold the zone too. So don't always bleed out too fast. Right, right here, I'm still getting points even though I'm down. Keep that in mind too, guys. And, well, that's it. We got the easy win. Simple as, easy as, guys. As you've seen, and that was solo, simple and easy. And as you've seen here, I just changed my class and then I wanted to die. Cause, and I, so I fell to the death to change my class. So that I was holding my other weapons when I <laughs> um, went onto the chopper at the end. Because <laughs> whatever weapon you've got, class you've got selected at the time, is the class that you're holding when you walk onto the chopper. But yeah, guys, simple as, easy as, and as you see, that's going to count as a Battle Royale win. So yes, this is broken, and yes, this needs to be fixed. So the more videos we make on this, the faster this will get fixed. But in the same process, you guys that want super easy Battle Royale wins, you guys that have trouble getting Battle Royale wins, 
this is your moment to shine get out into lockdown and camp camp those zones get yourself some battle royale wins simple as easy as right now you can do this you can do it <laughs> simple as easy as and it can't be easier guys so with that said guys as you've seen there that's how you can win lockdown solo just camp it out you don't have to be highly skilled or anything and you get the win and then you get the battle royale quads wins guys so with that said get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and of course make sure you guys have an awesome day get out there and get all of your wins unlock your cool challenge calling cards and everything guys and of course at the same time you're getting all your souls and everything because hey this is lockdown and well that's the best place for the souls so as you see right here we've got now got three wins in total guys and we only had two before that and as you see it says in the battle royale it says that we last game was a first and it was actually the vondel zone control that said thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you in the next one b man out okay guys here's the loadout that i want you guys to avoid because as you see here it's way too overpowered now we've got this gun right here so if we come into here it's a lockwood 300 and here's the attachments and tunes the the reason it's so overpowered is this 12 gauge club slugs that we've got this tune here on then we've got this adding some velocity to the slugs and this here adding damage range then we've got over here the high stock for the better movement and stuff and then we've got here for better speed to fire and aim down sight speed all together this makes this thing absolutely overpowered we're running this decal because it's cool it's the one that we just got i've got a video on that for those that want to know how to get that secret unlock then we're making that we've got the gun screen the ghost gun screen that's the pay to win that's overpowered because anything that you shoot and kill at range this sucks the souls to you so you don't have to go and collect them and others can't steal them then we're running this thing here for those that want to know that there is the camo that you get from the raid episode 4 completion of veteran i call it the b-man camo okay and that is this build but we accompany this shotgun with throwing knives stuns and this perk set up right here we have overkill so that we can have our smg we have scavengers so that we're picking up our throwing knives all the time and extra bullets so as you see we always got throwing knives to throw if we need them fast hands so we can use our throwing knives faster reload faster and swap weapons faster all vital for that shotgun build and we've got high alert so if anyone looks at us we know to move and start moving so we don't get one shotted and with that all together that makes us even super overpowered then we have this build right here the smg build that we accompany it with here's the tunes for this and with that said guys that's going to complete the video make sure you get down there and you smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and make sure you guys have an awesome day thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you in the next one b-man